Rashita, I said Deepa, I am Darshana. So we have done a capstone project in the title Electronic Voting Machine using A051 microcontroller. Where, uh, where we have used a uh, A051 microcontroller, LCD display and switch buttons. So here the process will then and finally the output will be displayed based on the winning team. So as we said before, uh, our capstone project is electronic voting machine using A051 and microcontroller. So let me give you the detailed explanation uh, for code and as well as for produce software in this video. So now uh, I am using Kale Vision 4. Uh, so open Kale Vision 4, select project and give new microvision project and uh, create a folder. Uh, in that you give some folder name. I am giving the folder name as Capstone since it's our Capstone project and then uh, give the file name uh, whatever you want. So I am giving a roll number and then electronic coding machine that is EVM and save that file name. So after saving the file name uh, the project will be created and it will be asking select target device and you have to select 8089C51 and give OK. Then uh, okay, give is yes, yes, and then so first you have to create the target. For that, click options for tar target, and you have to give the megahertz as 11.0592, and then create an hex file by creating the output. Now you have to click the new file, I mean new text page, and you have to uh, write the code uh, which you are using for the Proteus. So I am using this code for my Proteus output. So let me copy paste it. So after writing the code, uh, you have to save that in the .c format. So just click the file name and uh, insert .c extension and then save the file. So after creating the C file, you have to click the source group and you have to add the existing file like this. So I am adding the existing file. So after this, you have to run, build the output and check whether any error is there. Uh, so, that, so now it, it is showing zero errors. Uh, now we have to create the Proteus. So for Proteus, I am using Proteus 8 version. So first let me open Proteus software. So okay, now we have to create a new project. So in that new project, you have to give some name anyways. So I am giving EVM and then select next and you have to select the a mode like landscape mode or uh, any other mode. So wait. So I'm using landscape A4. Then give next, 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 and finish. So this is what the page will get created. Now you have to pick the components whatever you are using. So for components, uh, near devices you choose the pick devices and then uh, tool uh, text toolbox will get open in keywords search uh, what are the components you have to use so first is 889c51 microcontroller so double click it it will get added the next is button so we are using spst button so after adding it uh, we are using lcd display where we are using 16 cross 2 lcd display uh, to display the result so uh, also choose that LCD 16 cross 2 so after choosing all the components we are using just display the components in that main sheet which is, dis uh, which is in the screen so first of all let me place atmega 89c51 then the LCD button to the right side of the atmega I mean uh, microcontroller and then the button so we are totally using 5 buttons uh, two buttons is for start the process and the result and the rest of the four button is for the parties like since we are doing electronic voting machine the overall concept is that a person will come and uh, give their vote the vote will get uh, accepted by the uh, like uh, accepted by the microcontroller and then it will give the output in the display displayed in the lcd so that is why so for the lcd connection uh, we have totally 14 pins like ground, uh, 5 volt, contrast control, RS, RW, enable and D0 to D7 which is data pins. So first select register, uh, give the select register that is 4th pin of the LCD to the 10th pin of the 
microcontroller then fifth pin to lower pin and sixth pin which is enabled to the 12th bit of the microcontroller the next we should give the connections to data pins d0 to d7 so give those pins starting from 21st pin to 28th pin in the microcontroller so d0 to d7 are the data pins we are using and rs is nothing but select register select uh, uh, rw is nothing but read and write and e is the enable pin we are using so after giving all those d0 to d7 connections in the microcontroller now we have to give the connections for vss vdd and vwe so for 5 volt that is vdd is nothing but plus 5 volt so give that uh, we have to use uh, ground and then a power so from the tool components we have to choose the power and the ground now second pin of the led is nothing but 5 volt uh, you have to connect it to the ground so uh, make sure that the 5 volt is being connected to the ground and then next you have to connect the first pin and the third pin that is the ground and the contrast voltage is being connected to the power supply so after connecting the right side of the uh, overall circuit has been completed then we have to come to the switch part so for these switches you have to connect uh, from port 1.0 to port 1.5 for all the six switches and then uh, this is for the right side switch After giving all those connections in the right hand side, uh, left hand side of the switches it must be connected to the power supply. So uh, connect three power supply for for starting switch you have to connect one single power supply. For all those four party switches you have to connect a uh, supply and then short circuit all those four uh, circuit. And then for the result button you have to connect a separate power supply. So for uh, first of all you give this connection. So after giving this connection, for the four switches, you have to uh, give the supply as 5 volt. If the 5 volt is not there, you have to click design and choose power rail configuration and create the name as new and then you give 5 volt. Then click the 5 volt and add in the net connector to 5 volt. Now the 5 volt has been created. Now the overall circuit has been completed. So for the switches button, you need to give the name. So I'm using the text box uh, to give name for each of the button so i'm using the text box from the toolbox and now i'm giving the first switch as the start button so that giving the names it would be help the people to use it easily like which uh, which button they are choosing which party they are choosing like that so for the first button i'm giving start as the name and for the next four buttons i will be giving the parties uh, for voting which parties are competing so the second button I am giving the first party as DMK, the next button I am giving as NTK, the third button I will be giving it as TVK and then the fourth button I will be giving as ADMK. And for the last button I will be giving it as a uh, result. So that the, by clicking the result, the display, the old display will be displayed in the LCD display. So that is why this uh, result button, it, it will be used by us for checking the result which party has been won. So that is why. So after giving all these uh, details, so that the circuit has been completed. Now the next process is you have to uh, insert the hex file which has been created using Kelly Vision. So for doing that, you have to double click the microcontroller, uh, a box, a tool toolbox will be get open. So for clock frequency, instead of 12 MHz, you, you must choose 11.0592 MHz. And for the program file, you must add the file, the hex file which has been created. So for, uh, for choosing that, uh, just go where you have saved those 
coding file and in that you will be seeing the hex file which has been created so i had uh, saved the code in the capstone file so on clicking the capstone file and on clicking objects i'll be seeing the hex file so i'm double clicking and opening it then give ok so this is the overall uh, circuit diagram proteus software uh, proteus connections of our project now just give run so on giving the run button the lcd will display press start to initiate so you have to the person have to select start button click start button so after clicking start button it will show will compress any key to vote so and it will show the parties which have been given as the input so after that the person has to choose any one party as they are voting and the display will show thank you so this process will continue uh, as per how many persons are choosing uh, how many persons are voting it depends on the uh, future so like after clicking everything so after clicking everything we must uh, click the result button so before result button so like uh, four to six members uh, will vote so let me show you the example of how they are doing the process So when you finally click the result button, it will display as the all four parties and how many votes did they got and then it will display the party name and uh, they won like that it will display. So this is the overall concept of electronic voting machine. I hope you got understand.